Hello, this is CB Archer 768, and we are back with Dead Space 3. Last time, we were chasing after Danik to stop him from connecting the moon with the planet. But we first got attacked by, like, a baby puking necromorph. Yeah, and now we gotta continue the horror. Let's go. And as soon as I get to a bench, I want to switch this out. Because I want my plasma cutter back. Oh, boy. All right. This crap again! Come at me! Come on! Oh no! Yeah! Eat that, you baby puker! Baby! Jeez, I ran through them. Epic. This is better than the movie Cliffhanger. Go away. These babies are annoying. Hopefully that stuff will be at the bottom when I get there. I wish I could check my inventory. I don't want to waste all my health packs. Oh, wait. There's some stuff. Oh, hey. Yeah, I don't want to miss some stuff. Come on, come on out. I'm like Spider-Man with a gun. You got destroyed. Okay, go, go, go! Oh, no! Oh, no! Ah! No! Oh, my God! My life been flashing before my eyes! And it was boring! Okay, too many people use that joke. Let us, everyone. All dead. Isaac Mark, he shot the rest. They're bringing him for reinforcements! But how will they reach us? We can open the ventilation system systems, systems from in here. They're apart! Chapter 7. Now. Chapter 17. A strange city. Alien ruins. And all oh, we're getting close to the end. Isaac, you alright? Carver, here. He's headed to the machine. Can you reach him? I'll try it. Find a way into the city. We'll try to meet up on the way. Alright, let me check my inventory. One health pack. Gotta save it. Start her up. Nothing. We don't got a signal. Ooh, artifact. Alright, like I said, I'm getting my plasma cutter. I don't care. Gotta finish the game with a plasma cutter. I'm just saying. Maybe I'll add an attachment to it, though. Uh, 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 inventory. Yes. Replace that. I don't care. Uh, I want to see if I can, like, get it, uh... What's this? One, five, uh, damage. Where's that one that gives me health packs? Support. Uh, uh, uh. Health packs consumed by self also heal. No. Ah, there's nothing. What is this? Engine high current electric wield. Uh. Plasma. A cutting tool that fires plasma fuel. Flamethrower? I think so. 
I'll take it. Or wait. Ah, uh, it's the same thing. Ah! I don't know, I'm not good at this. I just want something good. Ripcore. Oh, the Ripper. Maybe... Yeah, let's do that. Have a Ripper, yeah. Saw some guys away from me. Yeah. Alright. Uh, we'll end the game with a plasma cutter attached with a Ripper. Perfect. Now let's put some upgrades on it. Oh, it already has some, but it's still. Uh, actually seems good. Never mind. Uh, I would craft some health packs, but I don't want to. I feel I could save up enough to get to an armor thing and like, you know, upgrade my health all the way with that, but I'm not sure now. Alright? Ammo, got plenty. Could use some health packs, really. There's one. Ooh, medium, that'll help. Save the small and medium, only for emergencies. Ah, dang. The misshapen moon in orbit. That's what controls the markers. It's the end state of these creatures. Or rather, it would have been. You see, the natives of this planet constructed a machine that froze the moon in mid-formation. But it wasn't enough. Even half-formed, the moon's marker signal speaks to the markers back home. And it doesn't end there. There is a network of brethren moons spanning the stars. As each one completes, it connects to this network, making them aware. If this moon should complete, its brothers will all come, looking for food. But there is hope. The natives never finished configuring the machine. It wasn't meant to merely freeze the moon, it was meant to destroy it. You'll need the Codex. It is the key to unlocking this machine and reconfiguring it. Follow my trail into the heart of the machine and end this nightmare. Carter, did you hear that? The machine could crush the moon. It just needs to be properly configured. What about Danik? Stopping Danik won't be enough. We need to get that codex back. It's the key to reconfiguring the machine. The Serrano's locked the passage using some kind of alien glyphs. I'm gonna look for a way to bypass it. I guess, basically find the symbols that fit. back everybody and guess what I figured out the puzzle I love it I move it up once and I figure out the symbols and I'm like uh okay and oh my brother Joey's here oh come this way behind me so say hi Joey hey everybody what's going on yeah I'm just playing dead space so let's continue yeah th these were the symbols little two thingy up little fat thing down and that I didn't even know the machine was probably telling me, but I didn't know. I just lucky guessed it. Ah, uh, and the best victory dance. Uh, now, now that's ghetto. That's a ghetto pass. Even you missed what I've uh, what I've been fighting. I fought necromorphs that shoot babies. Uh, Seriously, things shooting babies everywhere. <laughs> Danik, you made me leave my girlfriend Ellie. She's dead, probably. Get over here! Open the door! Ugh. 
Ecosystem, I assume. It's alive, Danik. It's hungry and it isn't alone. If you turn off the machine, you'll set it free. And then it and all its brothers find our markers, find us, and wipe us out. How can you presume to know its intention? You hear it because you don't understand it. Danik, hear me out! Danik, are you listening to me? Motherfucker! God, I can't wait to kill you. And hey, I'm solving the puzzle. Basically, we found out that an alien race was trying to, uh, was trying to stop the markers but were killed, but they froze the planet. Basically, if the moon fuses with this planet, all the markers will come here, I think. And we're dead if they come here. I can't see things. There we go. Yeah, and like he said, the moon's alive. Come on, where are you? Oh! Dang! 
If they get too close, I can blast them away. The key to saving the world! Nice work, Carver. What kind of plan is this?
game would give me more med pack. Alright, uh, code. There you go. Okay, there we go. Got it. Awesome. At least I remember the code. That's good. It's good I took a second peek at it. Thank you. That was annoying for some reason. Jeez. Hello. Anybody in here? These dust shaped areas of the floor. They supercharge our TK capacity, but hurt like hell. What about stasis? What about it? Think it's enhanced too? Try it, let me know. like an upgrade thingy. I hear babies! BABIES! Yeah. You babies stand no chance against me. Charging me. Seriously. Incredible, isn't it? I call this the promenade. One of the many conduits straight to the heart of the machine. Without the codex, I can only speculate, but I suspect the machine needs to be open for any changes to be made. I believe the monoliths on this plateau will do just that. By standing on the special disc-shaped area on the floor, I've discovered I can use my kinesis module in a boosted capacity to manipulate them. The two hieroglyphics on the wall behind me indicate that one configuration will open the machine. Another will enact any changes to the internal programming. Once you get it open and have followed all of my research, you will need to return here to enact the final stage.
it. Hang on. I call this the problem. Oh, I got to split those apart. One of the biggest huh? straight to the heart of the machine. Without the codex, I can only speculate, but I expect the machine needs to be altered for any changes to be made. I believe the model is on the top of the adjuster. By standing on the special disc-shaped area on the floor, I discovered I can use my kinesis model in a boosted capacity to manipulate them. The two hieroglyphics on the wall behind me indicate that one configuration will open the machine, another will enact any changes to the internal programming. Once you get it open and have followed all of my research, you will need to return it to enact the final stage. Control center for the codex. That's where it'll be. Meet me there. God, sorry for doing terrible on that puzzle.
Well, it's saved here. I hope you all enjoyed this part. Be back with another one soon. Stay tuned.